Hey, we're the Phelps family from Hayden, Alabama. I'm Amy. And I'm Jimmy. We have three boys. Jacob, who's nine, Brody, who's five, and Aiden, who's two and a half. <laughs> no. Run. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I stay at home with the boys all day long. And it's turmoil all the time. <laughs> Jacob, he's like short-tempered. It's an anger issue a lot with Jacob. Brody is our most stubborn child. No. Don't tell me no. Let's go. No. Come on. No. He will completely lock down if you've tried to make him do something that he don't want to do. This is crazy. Ow, Aiden. No. Aiden is the most difficult. He'll hit, scream, completely lose it if you tell him no to something. For disciplining, I usually scream. Do you want to play it? Then play it. I'm not sitting in here and doing this bull crap. And I spank. <laughs> no, sir. You want it on the hand or the honey? <laughs> I said that's no. It's not necessary. There's other ways of discipline. You don't have to beat a, beat a child to get them to get their attention. No doubt. No doubt. All the boys eat junk food. We're all out of strawberry milk. <laughs> the pantry's always open. The refrigerator's always open. Oh my goodness, why do you have two suckers in your mouth? Aiden drinks so much strawberry milk. <laughs> there. And eats so much bologna that he don't eat anything else. Unbelievable. Don't give him any more milk. Okay, okay. I know yeah. that. Well, how come you keep giving it to him? Because I don't want to have to deal with the screaming 20-minute well, fit. You undermine my authority. You give me no authority when you're home. Give it here. What are you doing? Sneaking, cutting toenails. I feel like I need Super Nanny's help, or we need it, because I feel all alone in how I feel like they should be disciplined. Quit pinching me! I want my children to grow up and love their childhood. I want them to grow up to be great men. I need to talk to these parents. Super Nanny, I have four boys. I'm dying here. I need help. It looks like you guys need some help and a referee, so uh, hold on because I'm on my way. Hi. Hi, love. Pleased to meet you, Joe Frost. Hey, can I hug you? Hi. <laughs> yeah. It's a southern <laughs> thing. We always you. hug. <laughs> Seeing Joe for the first time, I felt nervous. Scared, excited, happy. This is Aiden, our two and a half year old. Hello, Aiden. Who's this? This is Jacob. Pleased to meet you. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Hi, Brody. I'm Jojo. How are you? With Dad at work during the day, I asked Mom if I could take a look around the house, and I came across a room that had a pile of washing on it. Whose room is that? Oh, uh, that's Aiden's room. He doesn't sleep in. He doesn't? Oh, where does Aiden sleep then? You have your mum and daddy, huh? I just thought to myself, this is something that I'm going to need to address. Brody, holler at Jacob to tell him to come in and sleep. Lunchtime came around, the package meals went on the table, and the kids were drinking something blue. You feeling bad again? <laughs> Brody ate the chocolate and then decided he didn't want anything else. His throat hurts really bad. Chocolate make it better. Mm -hmm. He had enough energy to eat the chocolate that was in there and leave the rest. I mean, come on. You should be mindful of the food that you're giving your children and the nutrition that they should be eating. There really isn't any excuse. You don't cook because they don't eat, or you just don't cook because you don't see yourself doing it? Both. It's a lot to cook and clean up and then do all the other stuff I've got to do. Right, so you're now saying that you don't cook it because you're too lazy to clean it up. I felt like Joe was scolding me like a an adult scolding a child. You don't cook a lunch. You know, how dare you? I'm lazy, just period. Well, that gets us to the bottom of it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aiden was playing nearby with his brothers, and then I heard this awful noise. Oh, this is their closet this way. <laughs> there was this tremendous thud. Something madly wrong had happened. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
It was really loud, so I knew it wasn't just a couple of stairs. This was more than a couple of stairs. It's his head, put a nice pack on his head, look. Yeah. Aiden seemed to have avoided serious injury. Although I tell you what, he's going to have a nasty bruise. I tell everyone, if he could have a helmet on, that would be the best thing. He is always hitting his head, always. After some time with the ice pack, Aiden started to feel better. And even though I don't start teaching on observation day, I did need to give Aiden a little lesson about that staircase. Hold on to the railing. Yeah. Hold on to the railing coming down. I also feel that the staircase needs to be toddler proofed. So I am going to talk to mum and dad seriously about this later. Hang on to this and let's go up. Hello. How you doing? Hi, well, it's all drama. Your little boy's doing stunts. Oh, really? Dad came home. And so I got a chance to meet him. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good, Hi. Good. Jim. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Mum started to get dinner ready, and I had the chance to see Mum and Dad interact. I'm changing a diaper. Oh. Hadn't been changed all day. Yep. Yes, it has. I don't think both parents speak to each other quite nicely. Were well, you drinking water? That'll be fine. Did you put any in the fridge? I don't reckon I did. Just like I didn't do the diaper all day long. What did you do all day then? Huh? Laundry, dishes, swept, mopped. Do you need a list? Well. Jimmy and I are not on the same page. We're, I think we're in a totally different chapter. <laughs> I'm just wondering, how was your day, honey? That's not what you ask. You said, what did I do all day? Not, how was your day? This was not a healthy conversation. I'm going to have to work with mum and dad as a couple to help them with the whole process of this situation. From watching the submission tape, I know that mum and dad choose to spank their kids as a form of discipline. And despite the way dad's been brought up, I know that he's really eager to learn a different way to discipline his children. Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's in the Bible, OK? And I was raised and you know, you do something wrong, you get spanked. I want it to be to where I don't have to spank my kids. There's a better way, you know. If I had a choice to spank or discipline in a way that didn't inflict pain, as a loving parent, I would choose the one that didn't cause pain on my child. It does work. I don't feel like that you can be out in public and be like, OK, I'm going to time out you. <laughs> With Aiden, I say this, do you want to spank it on your honey? And he says, no. Then he stops doing what he does. If mom can actually just be open-minded enough to try something new, she'll see for herself that she's capable of disciplining the children without having to raise her hand. And while I had them both together, I had one more topic that I wanted to discuss with Mum and Dad. I saw Aidan's bedroom. Does he sleep in that bed? No. Because there's all clothes on it, and Jacob said that he doesn't. He sleeps with you guys. Yeah. Is that what you, you choose to do? How, she how? does. I've slept with him since he was a baby, mm -hmm. and just smelling him yeah. and feeling him. I, just, I don't know, it's just kind of like my security blanket. You do totally disagree. You don't want the co-sleeping, no? No, ma'am. No? Mm -hmm. And your reasons for that? I can't sleep. And that's his room. It was built for him. Aiden sleeps in mum and dad's bed and not his own bed at the age of two and a half. It's not really allowing him, is it, to get used to self-soothing and being in his own room. I mean, that's a life skill that you eventually need to learn. I just don't know if I'm ready for it. Are you saying emotionally you don't know if you're ready? He's my last one. We don't know It's got you all emotional. Come on, bedtime. Mum and Dad put the older boys to bed, got a bedtime drink for Aiden, and then started to have a go at one another. He thinks he can do everything better. He says he cooks better. No, no. He puts them to No. If you know what you're doing, you can get it done. That's what you said on Mother's Day. I got them ready for church in 10 minutes put the clothes on and that's not hard to I do. Mean, well, I guess on that note, um, I'm going to leave you both for the evening. Don't kill each other because actually I do want to meet him with both of you tomorrow morning. It's been a great day for me because I've been able to see quite a lot. See you tomorrow. For tomorrow's meeting, I'm very nervous because if anybody can tell me what I'm doing wrong as a parent, it's, it's Joe. What is she going to think about us? But I'm... Not willing to go down without a fight either. I'm ready to stand my ground for certain things I believe in. Uh, 
having spent time observing you guys as a family, so what I would like to start with is food. Now we spoke about that and you said to me, I feel you know, disheartened to put any food on the table because these kids won't eat it. So I'm discouraged now to even cook. It's important for your kids to have that fruit and that vegetables. It's part of their health, their nutrition. I agree. It's lazy. Let's talk about bedtime. We have a bedroom upstairs for Aiden that's not being used because one of you, Amy, you're clinging on to Aiden for the wrong reason. Emotionally, that feels a hole for you that feels good. It pacifies you, it feeds you emotionally, Amy. I get it but there's no reason why you can't have that closeness with him and cuddles and snuggle up with him during the day. You have those little moments if you create time to have them. Okay. So let's talk about this spanking thing because you told me that you don't want to spank, yet I heard from you yesterday that, yeah, you know, but you know, you don't really feel it's a bad thing. I mean, where, where are you guys at on this? If we didn't have to spank, we could discipline and it'd be effective. We would agree on that, wouldn't we? If Jacob disrespects me, I think that's not just, oh, go get in your time out. You know what I mean? So you basically teach him, if someone disrespects you, that that's what you do, you hit. Not hit, spank. It's the same thing. Wooden spoon, hand, it hurts. I'm, I'm leaning more toward the new technique myself. I'm, are you not? I mean, why wouldn't you be? I don't know. If it works and if it's okay, effective. Okay, we'll try it. Because the spanking's not working right now. Okay, and I'm, I, like I said, I'm, I'm willing to try. For our children's sake and our to sake. Try. Okay, okay, let's do it 100%. Okay, I'm willing to try. Do you not hear me speaking yes, these words? Yes, okay. Why are you getting so angry? I'm not. I'm just saying, do you not hear me speaking okay. these words to you? I'm let's willing to try. Let's just forget about the spanking. Okay. The, the spanking is out. Let's just, I mean, this I is. I mean, I've said it three times. Okay. I said okay. Okay. No. <laughs> so do I have two parents on board? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yeah, okay, so I look forward to seeing you so we can get started again. All right, thank you. Thank you. When I first arrived for teaching the next day, my priority was two and a half year old Aidan's safety. Unfortunately, I did have the opportunity to see the little one fall down the flight of stairs, which actually was very frightening, obviously, for us all. <laughs> we want to talk about is really Aiden learning how to go up and down those stairs properly. I'd like to see you actually telling Aiden to go up each step two feet at a time, okay? Like so. And then holding on to the white banister railings here. Aiden took to walking down the stairs like a duck to water. Good boy. Well done, that's it. Aiden was doing very well, so I moved on to having Dad put safety gates at the top and at the bottom of that staircase. I really did feel more safe with the gates in place. The stair gates for me definitely give me a peace of mind, and I'm glad we have them now. The next thing I'm going to put in place are the house rules so that the kids can understand what will be expected of them, and the parents can have a few whilst they're at it as well. What you can see here, we've got rules for Mum and Dad and rules for kids. So let's start off with a rule for the kids. No. We're talking back. Another one. If we say something the first time, I would like it to be done. Listen and do as you're told. Mm -hmm. No heating would be okay. number three to share as a rule, wouldn't, wouldn't it be? Okay, boys, a rule for mum and dad. Um, no spanking us. How about no screaming? Can we work yeah. on that? Yeah. Yeah, no screaming, no spanking. In the parents' meeting, Amy decided that she was not going to spank. And then when it came to putting it into writing, well, she started to pout. I like the no screaming. I, I really, okay. I really do. Brendan, no, no spanking. No spanking, no spanking, no spanking. I felt really aggravated at Jo that she had put that decision on my children. Discipline should never be the child's choice, ever. 
I just can't believe our kids are you know, deciding that it, it, we don't do they're this not. anymore. Don't you I'm understand? confident that this Don't you right. understand? They're not. This is just a nice way of showing the kids that the family are making changes. And yet Amy's taking it literally like the kids are dictating to her. At the end of the day, these parents are the ones that are in control and they've got to start feeling that. Come and chill over here then. Come on, we're going to sit over here. I wanted for us to sit somewhere a lot more comfortable and I really wanted mum to hear firsthand from the boys exactly how spanking made them feel. When mum and dad say, I'm going to spank you now, do you feel frightened of it? Yeah. Because it hurts. Yeah. Right, OK. I just, I just don't want to tell them right now we will never, ever, 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 ever spank them again. Mum knows I'm going to be teaching her my way of disciplining the kids, but I think she's more concerned with having to control this whole situation. Maybe she feels that she can't put it off. You're thinking, I've got the spanking as a safety net. Yep. That's it. How do you learn to get those successful results if what you're doing is walking with a safety net, knowing that you can, at the end of the day, find an excuse for why you want to give up. Because let's face it, all you're doing, Amy, is setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up to fail. If I have good kids and they behave without having to spank them when they misbehave, you know, wow, teach me. I want to learn it. OK, let's go. Right. I mean, serious. I am. I'm ready. After much debate, Mum gave in and wrote no spanking on the house rules, but I'm not convinced. At the end of the day, I'm going to be teaching these parents a new way to discipline. Is she committed? Only time's going to tell. I reluctantly did it, but I'm just not sure. I just need to see some proof. I realise that Mum's had a long, hard day, but she is going to have to muster up some more energy because Aidan needs to sleep in his bed on his own. We went straight into the sleep separation technique. Let me kiss nut nut. Which is to place your child into bed without talking to them every time they get out of bed with you remaining in the room. Okay, Amy. Amy. <coughs> you can do this. Do you hear me? You can do this. If he gets out, you put him back into the bed and you keep quiet, okay. all right? It was tough. It was tough for Amy. <laughs> I knew it was great for her to be there to help me, but I just really wasn't ready to do it. Every time we called her name, you could see she was just praying that she would find the strength to be able to follow through. She was very close to breaking. I got kind of worried, wondering if it was good for him, just crying and screaming in his bed. <coughs> That's really concerned with Amy, too. I knew it was tearing her heart out. I think it took Aiden about an hour, but he did finally go to sleep, and so that was kind of rewarding. Who put Aiden to bed tonight? Me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Me. I'm very proud of Amy for sticking to the bed technique. We've just crossed a milestone for you. Mm -hmm. It's a good girl. Putting Aiden in his own bed was by far the hardest thing that she's put into place. Thanks. That was tough. I know. He couldn't have done it. Probably not. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, get ready to cuddle, because i got to have somebody. Cuddle. <laughs> cuddle. Um, I think that's where I exit. Yeah. I think that's where I go home for the night. Mum and Dad in the past have chose to spank their boys when it's come to disciplining them. And I've promised Mum and Dad that I will teach them a technique for discipline that will be very different. When you've already told them in a conversational voice to stop something and they've chosen not to listen and do as they're told, you then have to give them a warning. If they continue beyond the warning, bring them over to a chair and they are going to do time out. 
you're going to tell them why they now have to sit on that chair and you'll set your timer one minute per their age. When they've done it, you'll come back and you'll tell them again. You were told to sit here because X, Y, and Z. You will then tell them that you want an apology. Hugs and kisses, and you move on. I'm looking forward to using the technique. I'm definitely willing to try the timeout technique. Yay! It's cleanup time. Yay! Yes, you can. There came a point when the boys had to start tidying up and Brody refused to do it. He started to stall. Brody. Look, what is this? And this. I'd like you to turn around and tell him, I'm asking you to pick up those pieces yeah. and put them into the box. If I have to come up here and see you're not doing it, you know what's going to be happening. I'm going downstairs, and when I come back, they better be picked up. Well, you understand me, right? Brody refused to listen to him. And in the end, Dad put him into a timeout. Sit down. Sit down, don't get up. Explain why he's there. Explain why he's there. You didn't pick up your toys, so you're in timeout. I can't believe it. Set the alarm. This is the first time that this family have done a timeout. And so it did seem a little bit awkward for Jimmy. With Joe standing beside me, it was like, am I going to pass the test? <laughs> and actually, we didn't see Brody get up from the chair. He knew that he was in trouble and he said his time. I was proud of him. Come and listen to me. You know why I put you in timeout? Because you didn't do what I asked you to do with the toys. I apologize for not listening to me. I don't know for what not, that means. It means tell me you're sorry. Hug me. Give me a hug. With some good coaching, Dad did manage to do a good timeout with Brody. But Brody still has to do what he refused to do in the beginning, and that's tidy up that playroom. Let's go upstairs. No. Ew. Upstairs. Oh, no. He's asking for time out to, to, because he thinks it's easier. Yeah, of time. course. Okay, so. This is exactly the reason I think timeouts don't work. Oh, we're going to deal with this now. Come and watch okay. me. Of course, he's going to want the sitting in the chair rather than doing what he's told to do and rather than getting a spanking. Brody, you've been asked by your father to go upstairs and start tidying up the playroom. So I suggest you listen and do as you're told. Off you go, please. Brody went off to do as he was asked, and I went back to talk to Mum, and she was convinced with what she saw that timeout was never going to work. That's why I said it was not his choice for him to choose no spanking. That's why, that's why I said that See, up there, because uh, he's choosing the easy road. He it's wants... not an easy road. Once they've been in that timeout a few times, and they've realised that actually they're going to go back there again and again, to them it's going to become very boring, very mm -hmm. stale, and they're going to realise what they're going to lose out on. I like the timeout technique because you can use it anywhere without having, oh my God, this guy's beating his child, call the police, you know. I'm going to do my best with the timeouts, but there are some things that warrant a spanking, and if it warrants a spanking, I'm more than likely going to have to spank my children. Boys eat a lot of junk, let's face it. This family as a whole need to eat more well-balanced meals, so I'm going to introduce them to a little happy technique. Today, you get a chance to decide a meal that you would like to eat tonight. But this is the catch. Mum and Dad are not cooking dinner tonight. You guys are going to be the chefs. They were like, really? We're going to get to cook? And guess what I've got? I've got special chef outfits for you. Getting the boys really involved with cooking the food themselves is going to educate this whole family about eating better. OK, so the meal tonight will be what? You two decide. Pork. Pork chop. OK. They chose pork chops and macaroni, a couple of vegetables and a fruit. And together, the pair of them started to get their aprons on and get busy making the food. It was important for these boys to do it on their own, although Dad did give them a little help when it comes to using the knives. Slice them right down the side. Yeah. Cool! Cooking dinner was fun because I got to cut the vegetables. This is going to be some cheesy macaroni and cheese. 
The kids being involved with cooking the meal, they get to see the process that you take to make a meal. I think it looks great, guys. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Brody and Jacob had an opportunity to look at the different variety of foods that are out there. Y'all did a great job. This is good food. I'm really hoping when I'm gone for several days that mum's not going to go back to spanking, which means that mum and dad need to be tight in their relationship. So I'm going to provoke a very honest and frank conversation between the pair of them. Is it OK to get junk food out of the pantry? So I'm seeing a yes and I'm seeing a no. So we've got a difference of opinion here. Mm. Is it OK for the children to have a difference of opinion about bedtime? I'm always open to their opinions. Yeah, because that's talking back. Can your children make noise in the car, yes or no? <laughs> She didn't ask if they could scream. Just listen to the question. <laughs> he started nitpicking at the answers I was given, and it's something he does quite often. He's so cut and dry, and I'm not. I, I, I have a lot of thinking that goes on behind my head. I think what I say is right, but, you know, 100% of the time, and you do the same. To me, that all that sounds like is. You're just saying it to be pretty. No, no, I'm not saying to it. To me, it really, no, it does, I, because this, this is, this is hold, hold on. OK, I'm sorry. This is how it is. I'll be talking about something, and you say, well, we're just not talking about that right now. That's kind of what it sounds like to me right now. I'm, I'm seeing where this is going, and I'm I'm having a hard time explaining Right, because you want to walk away. You no, I don't want to walk away. No, just I don't like, want to walk away. I sat very, very still because I did not want to be a distraction for this couple. I wanted them locked into each other so that they would air this confrontation that's been going on for too long between them both. Do you want to be married 40 years from now and hang out and like do great things together? Or do you want to just leave me at home and go do your own thing because you don't want to hear what I have to say? Yeah, I want to hear what you have to say. Because if you don't want to hear what I have to say now, I can't imagine you as a 70-year-old man wanting to hear what I have to say. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Honey. And I honestly mean that. I feel like such a butt sometimes. But I'm, I'm just too hard-headed or too stubborn to go back to you and tell you I'm sorry. She was crying. And as a husband, it made me stop and think about how I was treating her. Come here. Stand up. Well. That's one of my favorite little meetings that we've had. I think it made me understand Amy a little more. So therefore, I, I think I can be a better husband. I love you. If I can become a better husband to my wife, then we can become better parents together. There's been some feelings that have been trampled on, and it's raw. It's raw in that house. They're bruised. They've got a lot of work ahead of them. I am going to look forward to seeing you guys when I get back, I'm gone for three days. When I'm gone for several days, mum is gonna have the opportunity to put in the new discipline technique. I just hope she doesn't go back to her old ways. I wanna see you guys really coming together. I'm kind of nervous. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Seeing Joe walk out the door and knowing that we're on our own for the next three days. I'm gonna do my best with the timeout, but I can't promise that I'll never spank my children again. I've been away now from the Phelps family for several days, and I just hope that they've stayed on track. So let's take a look. I give you three chances to get this up, and you didn't do it. Now sit down. Yes, I did. Sit down. When I tell you to do something, you do it when I tell you to, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me again. Sorry. I didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh. 
that's a little bit screwed up there. I mean, he told you the first time, you didn't need to say it a second and a third. Once you've done that apology, you can have that conversation outside the naughty chair. You with me? That was a bad, that was a bad time out. So it's important to remember those steps. Brody, are you cleaning up or are you trying to get something out from on the bottom of the pile? Who wants to be able to go outside and play? Okay, well then let's get this together. Y'all are taking so long to do one little task. Pick it up and put it on there. Pick what? Oh my God, please. Pick this and put it up here. Just stop it right now. I'm sick of you not helping and I'm sick I'm of you always help. getting to play. Let's I'm go. Gonna you're gonna get time out now and then you're gonna get time out when we go outside. You're so mad, you're like, you're going to time out now, then you're going to get it later, and then I might give it back to you before supper time, and then you know, you just might get one before bedtime. You're like, you're fuming. It's like, you've already spanked him, and now you've run out. You're like, I'm going to have to do time out now. In the time out, either I didn't do it right, or it's just, like I said, it's just not, it's just, it's not enough punishment for them. I end up doing everything. Those boys are capable of tidying up the room. They're lazy. They don't have to, because Mum will do it. After she's had a good moan and she's spanked us a couple of times, she'll go in there and she'll clean it up anyway. Then you're feeling helpless. Then you're feeling it's everybody else's fault. This is what you do to change. When you change it, everything else will have to change. Don't you hear it? <laughs> I said to not hear it, didn't I? We're getting time out for hitting. We do not hit. Time out. Do not get up. Look, you got in time out because you hit mommy, okay? Look at mommy. We don't hit, okay? We don't hit. Are you sorry for hitting? Okay. Mommy loves you. Okay. Do you have no problem doing naughty step there with Hazen? Mm -hmm. You know, it hit you and straight away you're like, no, I'm not going there. You would have normally have, have, have spanked Aiden. You would have tapped him across his butt because he hit you. It's confusing. Those mixed messages yes. will mess this kid's head up. It shows me if you can do it with your little two and a half year old, you're more than capable of doing it with your older boys. So I hope this has motivated you in realising you do not have to spank. You know, you're both accountable for what you need to change. Yeah. So what we are going to do is we're going to look at discipline and a way in which you guys can start to remember it and other things. OK, thank you. Thank you. I watched the DVD footage of Mum upstairs in the playroom shouting at these children. Pick it up and put it on there. Pick this and put it up here. It was very counterproductive because they were not listening to her. I want to turn this around. This is about you stepping up and recognising, actually, I can do this in a really positive way without losing it. I explained to her that she would need to check her tone, be very positive with her language and keep her patience. We are going to clean up the playroom. At first, I was really worried that Mum was going down that old negative path. Who dumped these cars out? And then she turned it right around with some good, positive encouragement. Good job. It was a, a much lighter tone to Mum's voice. Awesome. Thank you for doing what Mummy asked you to do. Joe was there to tell me, you know, keep your voice calm and reassure them that they're doing a good job. Good job, Aiden. These kids were listening and they were doing as they were told. Good job good to clean up. As long as she can encourage these children in a positive way, then she never has to go down to where she then loses her temper and then becomes out of control. After the boys had finished tidying up their bedroom, I wanted to make sure that before I left, that mum and dad knew the steps of the time out like the back of their hand. I want to give you the opportunity to keep remembering what the steps are, because as long as you guys can remember it, that when you're in the moment of doing a time out, you're not going to become flustered and panicked. Here, are the steps. Put them in the right order. I can do this. Yeah. 
Dad knew in his head what the steps were and straight away he started to organise it. OK. Good morning. I was impressed that they got it right, mm -hmm. but I wanted to make sure that Mum and Dad understood why each step was important. Set the timer one minute per age. Jacob, who's eight, why wouldn't we give him, say, 30 minutes? Because it's not a, uh, reachable. It's not something he could actually do. Correct. It would just be unrealistic. You've put here, go back and explain. Why? They've had time to kind of let it soak in and go back and refresh their memory. Correct. Of why we put them there in the first place. Exactly, block. exactly, Jimmy. Joe has taught me that I don't always have to discipline my children out of anger. I'm willing to keep moving forward with the timeouts. I had one last exercise to do with Mum because in the beginning, she was unwilling to want to change. However, throughout the process, she did make changes in a very positive way. And I believe this exercise will keep her on track. I'm going to ask you to bullet point three things that you want to get better at doing. And these three things are what you are going to commit to changing in three months. I want to be able to give my best and my all to the timeout technique and my attitude and my tone of voice. We are going to be able to nip things in the bud before it gets to the point where we have to resort to spanking. She folded up the piece of paper and then placed it into an envelope and I took that envelope back. I'm going to send this to you in three months' time so that you can mark by this letter to see exactly where you are. I don't want to be embarrassed to myself that I've not followed through with this. So I think it'll definitely put a fire under my honey and make me want to do it, you know? On every challenge, every technique, you've tried to find an exit door. But a turn around and have the courage to take a step forward leads to a mother and a wife who's actually happy with the steps that she's making. I'm ready. Good. I'm going now. Can I give you a cuddle? OK. They're really pleasant boys. Come here, big boy. And they certainly got themselves into pickles because they didn't have those guidelines from their parents. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. So if the parents can toe the line, then they'll have kids that can do that as well. Jimmy! I need take a big care, hug. Take oh, care, take care. <laughs>